Hi everybody, my name is Stephanie Thiessen and I'm your Gel Moment Independent Distributor. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a nail build and extend the length of your nail using Gel Extend. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below so you are notified right away by email when I launch a brand new tutorial video just like this one. Now let's get started. Gel Extend is an incredible product. It is super strong and very durable with as little as one coat. You can use it as a protective base layer on your natural nails for extra strength. You can use it to fix a broken nail and you can use it as a nail build to extend your natural nail or even fix a really short damaged nail. So today I'm going to show you how to do a nail build using Gel Extend and the Gel Moment Nail Forms. The Gel Moment nail forms are really easy to use and completely reusable, so once you purchase your set of nail forms, you won't need to buy another set again. So to create a nail build, we're going to be using Gel Extend. Gel Extend is a different product than Clearly Frisky. It's meant to last up to 21 days and it's also HEMA free. It also cures a lot stronger than Clearly Frisky, so you don't need to use as many coats when you're creating a nail build. A nail build is the artificial lengthening of your natural nail. So you can use it to fix a broken nail like I have here. This nail I damaged on uh, June 14th, 2022 by stabbing my nail with a drill bit. It hurt really bad and it caused a lot of damage and unfortunately this nail has taken a long time to grow out. As the damage started to grow out, I had to keep the natural nail very short and using Gel Extend has allowed me to be able to comfortably continue to heal and grow out this damaged portion of my nail. For the purpose of this video, we're going to pretend that I have damaged or broken my index fingernail. And so what I'm going to do is just remove the end so that we can lengthen it and I can show you how to do a nail build. Before you begin your nail build, you want to make sure that the shape of the nail is in the general shape of what you're going to do your nail extension. So I am just filing it into the tapered shape that I want and then I'm just smoothing out the tip of the nail so that there aren't any ragged edges when we start the nail build. When using Gel Extend, we're going to prepare the nail the same way we do with any of the other Gel Moment polishes. We're going to gently buff the nail, making sure that we have a nice clean surface, and cleanse the nail, making sure that we have removed any dust and debris from buffing and filing. Always make sure to cleanse underneath the tip of your nail so that you remove any dirt, debris, and oils from underneath the tip of the nail before applying the polish. To start our nail build, we're going to apply a thin coat of Gel Extend to our natural nail length, making sure that you're applying it nice and cleanly as you want it to last the full 21 days at least, and if you have a nice clean application that's going to help it last as long as possible. And as with all gel polish applications, don't forget to cap the tip of your nail. Because Gel Extend is so thick, you may find that there's a little bit of pooling underneath the tip of your nail from capping. Just use your cuticle pusher to remove any of that pooling before you do a full cure. After curing, there is going to be a tacky layer on the nail extend. Just wipe it off with a cleanser pad before moving forward. Now that we have our base layer of Gel Extend on our nail, we're going to apply the nail form to the nail. You want to make sure that the nail form is nice and clean so there isn't debris or dirt or dust or hair on the nail form itself before you apply the Gel Extend. Make sure that the nail form is nice and tight underneath the tip of the nail. You want to have a bit of an uncomfortable feeling as it's pushing up onto the nail bed. This slightly uncomfortable feeling under the tip of the nail as the nail form pushes up against the nail bed is going to ensure that the nail form is in the correct position. Make sure that the ring that goes over the top of your finger is pushed back behind the cuticle line. By having it pushed back, it'll also help pull the form nice and tight underneath the tip of your nail. Once you have the form positioned on the nail, take a look around on all sides to make sure that it is in a good position. Everybody has a different nail shape, so you may need to pinch the form a little bit tighter for a more C-curved nail, or you may need to open it up a little bit for a flatter nail. 
You just want to ensure that the form is sitting nice and close to the shape of your nail for a nice smooth application. Now we're going to start our build and I like to start by painting the nail first, getting as close to the cuticle line as I can, making sure that I have the gel extend over the entire length of my natural nail. Like I said before, clean application is key to making sure that you have a long lasting manicure and in this case a long lasting nail build. So once you have the polish applied to your natural nail, then we're going to start extending the nail. Start by applying the gel extend to the nail form, going out and using the lines on the nail form as a guide for how long you want your extension to be. I like to extend my nail a little bit further past where I actually want the extension to be so that you have some wiggle room when it comes to filing. You don't want your extension to be too thin or it will be too brittle and not as strong as you want it to be. So you do want to apply a generous amount of gel extend to the nail form where your build is going to be. Looking at it from all angles is going to help you see where you need to add more gel extend to make it a nice smooth finish. Also make sure that you go up along the sides if you do have a little bit of longer growth on your nails to encapsulate the whole nail with gel extend. Once you have the extend on the nail, you want to look at it from all angles to make sure that you aren't missing any areas where the polish needs to be and also making sure that there aren't any divots or dips that you need to fill in before curing. You also want to make sure that you have a smooth finish on the top or as smooth as possible. So feather the polish from the extension towards your natural nail to allow for a nice smooth finish between the two. Gel Extend is still a liquid polish, so if you have too much product on the nail form or your nails are very curved, you may have the Gel Extend running down the length of the nail form. So just use your cuticle pusher to clean that up before curing, otherwise you'll have a lot of filing to do. Then do a full cure and then your nail extension is complete. When placing your nail under the lamp, gently push down on the tip of the form to make sure that it cures nice and smooth underneath the tip of the nail. To remove the nail form, just squeeze it gently and it will remove itself from the extension. Once you have the nail form off, you can see the areas where the extend has connected to your skin and you just want to use your nail to lift those areas off before you start filing. And again, we're going to have a tacky layer on the gel extend so we want to clean that off before we begin filing and shaping the nail. I like to start shaping my nail builds along the sides first just to clean up any of that gel extend that may have run down on the nail form and get a nice clean line from the nail plate. Gel extend is a very strong and durable product once it's cured and so it may be beneficial to use a brand new or newer nail file when doing the shaping for your nail builds. This will help the shaping go faster and make filing a little bit easier. Gel Moment recommends using Gel Extend for nail builds up to two millimeters in length. So it is meant for quite short nail builds. However, I do believe with the proper application, you could extend your nail out to a longer length. Use the buffer side of the nail file to buff underneath the extension. This is gonna help clean up any debris that you may have left there from filing. Gel Extend is an incredibly strong and durable product and you can see how strong it is after just one coat for our nail build. The last thing you want to do for your nail build is make sure that it is smooth on top and that you have a nice shape to the nail. When you apply polish to your nail build, any dips or divots are going to be highly noticeable in your manicure. So you want to make sure that you have a nice smooth extension. So what I do is I just take my nail file and I go over the surface of the nail, focusing more on where the nail build is and just gently smooth it out from side to side. I use a bit of a rocking back and forth motion on the nail file. This ensures a nice rounded smooth surface on the nail build. Once you're finished filing, have a look at your nail build from all directions. That way you'll be able to see any areas that may need a little bit more work. If you feel your nail needs more strength after filing, simply clean off with the cleanser pad and apply another coat of Gel Extend. 
When doing a nail build on multiple nails on one hand, I like to work on the nails one at a time. This will ensure that there isn't an excess amount of the gel extend running down the sides of the nail form while you're working on the other nails. So apply the gel extend to the nail form, cure fully, and then move on to the next nail that you're building. After some finishing touches, your nail build is complete and ready for polish. Simply cleanse off your nail build and you can apply your polish directly to the nail. I hope you found this video helpful. Gel Extend is an incredibly durable and strong product that is great for doing nail builds and so much more. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never miss out on new tutorial videos and fun manicure ideas. I'll be back soon with more great tips and tricks for using your Gel Moment products. Thanks so much for watching.